Hi, so this experiment that we are going to look at today is uh, known as air, um, air cavity as an insulator or air as an insulator. Um, we have different components of the kit. We have the box with us and there are two types, two types of paper mesh that we have. Uh, the first paper mesh which is named R11 it has a larger air cavity the whole area inside this um, is is uh, is an air cavity this is made of a of a sandwich of of paper mesh and inside it this is empty completely so this is the big cavity that we have and the other mesh uh, other material or uh, other panel here it has smaller cavity so it has smaller air pockets inside this panel we are going to look at how air uh, when trapped in small pockets versus uh, in a bigger pocket uh, what is the difference between uh, the heat transfer properties in both cases so that's the objective of our experiment today additionally to perform this experiment we will require a few equipments this is the temperature gun that we have we will be requiring requiring this uh, this is the lab thermometer which is going to be uh, useful for performing this experiment and we also have the halogen tube along with the stand since we don't have sunlight exposure here inside the room. We are looking at the assembly of this experiment. Uh, this is the panel, this is the box. The panel goes inside the box and once it goes inside we will lock the panel and we will place it such that the heat will fall directly on this panel the thermometer here it goes inside the hole here is the hole there is a hole provided in the box and it goes inside the hole this is the assembly of the experiment to perform this experiment we have uh, a timer that I have set in my mobile. Um, at the start, we will note down the ambient temperature of this room where we are performing this experiment. It is showing a reading of uh, 23.5 degrees Celsius. Also, I have a table prepared uh, to note down the observations or readings. Here, I will note down the ambient temperature reading this is 23.5 degrees once I have noted down the temperature reading I will put these thermometer inside the box and I will start the timer and the halogen tube simultaneously so here the halogen tube has started to emit heat um, I will wait for a minute to take my first reading um, the reading that I am going to take is the inside and the outside uh, reading so inside reading from here I will take uh, using the thermometer and the outside reading that is the surface temperature reading I will take using the temperature gun I will repeat this the same reading steps after every minute for five minutes and note these readings down in the table provided here i'm just waiting for one minute uh, to pass to take my first reading so one minute is up the first reading that i've gotten of the surface is 30.6 and the inside reading is 24 I'll place it again inside I will repeat these steps after every minute for five minutes so as we can see we have noted down all the readings here after five minutes uh, we will repeat the same procedure for the other panel the panel with smaller cavities and 
once we are done with that we will compare these two values to see which which of these two insulation materials is more impactful this will help students in uh, determining concepts like or, or materials like uh, AAE, AAC blocks um, whether these these blocks are uh, sufficient to uh, you know uh, stop the heat from coming inside the structure or some air cavities that we have as insulation so these two materials are based on the principles of AAC blocks and air cavities thank you